did you know God has deposited seeds on the inside of you? In this video, we're talking about having everything you need to get to where you're going. I'm sure you've heard it or you've been there. The day isn't going as planned and you thought, I just can't handle this right now. Welcome back. And if this is your first time to Epic Presentations, join this community by subscribing to the channel and enjoy videos that encourage people in Christ. We pray for our subscribers every day and we'd be honored to pray for you as well. Make sure to post your prayer requests, comments, or questions below each video and like this video so we know if we're creating videos that are helpful for you. I'm Alan. And this is day 27 of Joel's book. And we're going to declare, I am equipped for every good work God has planned for me. Day 27, I declare, I am equipped for every good work God has planned for me. I am anointed and empowered by the creator of the universe. Every bondage, Every limitation is being broken off of me. This is my time to shine. I will rise higher, overcome every obstacle, and experience victory like never before. This is my declaration. God has equipped and empowered you with everything you need. You don't have to struggle and try to make things happen. It's already in you. The strength, the creativity, the ideas, God's already lined up the right people. He's already given you the breaks you need by anointing you with oil, his blessings and grace. When I was growing up, I'd play football on the beach with a bunch of my friends. Back then, I'd put Hawaiian Tropic Tannin Oil all over my body to keep from getting sunburned, but it turned out to help my game too. I'm already kind of fast, but with that oil, nobody could tackle me. Big guys twice my size would grab me, but I'd slip right out of their hands. I had an advantage. I was all oiled up. That's the way it is when you walk in your anointing. Things that should bring you down won't. Maybe you were laid off from the job. You should feel discouraged but instead you stay in faith and you end up finding a better job. Maybe your discouragement is due to a relationship that came to an end. You should feel bitter, but instead you stay in faith and God opens up another door to a better relationship. When you face tough times, remind yourself, I've been anointed for this. I will not be negative. I will not lose my joy. I will stay full of praise. I know God is in control and I believe he can take what was meant for my harm and turn it around and use it to my advantage. If you do that, then one day you will look back on your life and realize that you made it through difficult times through the anointing God put on you. He gave you strength when you didn't think you could go on. He gave you joy when you should have been discouraged. He opened up a door when you didn't see any way out. Now you can look back and say with me, where would I have been if it had not been for the goodness of God in my life? That was day 27. And as a child of God, he has equipped you and given you everything you need. The scriptures say in Romans 8, 28, and we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. Well, sometimes bad things happen, but God did not plan or intend for those bad things to happen to you. But what God will do, if you let him, is take that bad thing and use it for your good. That's what this scripture in Romans is saying. Maybe you lost a job. God didn't plan that for you, 
But when you give it to God, do your best to keep your joy and trust Him. Now God can open up a door, giving you a better paying job, and surround you with people you can help and encourage. God has already given you everything you need to face troubling times and the good times. Maybe everything is going great in your life. Maybe you're making more than enough. And it's easy to get prideful and think, I'm a self-made man. I did all of this on my own. That's what the enemy wants you to think. We need to remember to thank God for his goodness that he gave us and keep our eyes open for opportunities God might put in front of us to help someone in need. Whether you're in good times or bad times, according to Romans 8:28, God uses all things for our good. And it goes on to say, to those who are called according to his purpose. There is a purpose, an anointing on your life. Well, what is the purpose God has for you? Maybe he wants to use you to help others. God has given you everything you need, and we can do something similar by helping others with some of what God has given us. When we remain joyful in difficult times, we are sharing our joy with others. When we are grateful for what God has given us and we help others in need, we are sharing God's love and provision. I believe God has given us more than enough so we can help others. Tell me, has someone from the kindness of their heart ever helped you? Even sharing a smile with a stranger can make a difference. Take a moment to comment below and tell me. We enjoy reading your story. Take a moment to like or share this video. Your engagement really makes a big difference and supports our channel in a great way. I'm believing and I declare you are anointed and empowered by the creator of the universe. I can't wait to see you again in day 28 where we will declare I will pray bold prayers, expect big and believe big. Don't forget to come back tomorrow or since you're here, check out day 28 right now or go to the playlist and start from the beginning so you don't miss out on the whole 31 day declaration series.